So let me elaborate on when I say I have been brutally attacked by this mafia people, Justin Bieber, Major Ali, B Major, all of these people. I mean, it first started when B Major brought his Chinese Vietnam Mafia to my last apartment complex before I moved over here and had no idea that it was the Mafia. They definitely brought the Mafia in there and I don't know what happened. I think um, B Major was fucking with one of my friends or something that I have found out and he seriously came in through the roof and poisoned all the food with rat poisoning on me and my daughter. I had to call the police and everything. I, I, I ate something and everything in my insides was burning. I was like, this is fucking crazy. He's seriously trying to kill me. So ever since then, I ain't never kept nothing in my refrigerator. People think I'm psycho. Like, dang, we go to her house. There's nothing, no food, no water, nothing. I don't keep anything unless it's like closed can. And I still don't even want to do that. I mean, these people seriously are fucking the mafia crazy. After that, I don't even want to get on fucking crazy Justin Bieber. He goes and gets some gas shit. This motherfucker will just get mad at anything. And all you know, all, the next thing you know, you're fucking poison. He will go and get some tube and stick it down the heater or something. And you'll just be getting poisoned while you're asleep. And then he'll sit in the wall with Nicki Minaj like a crazy person with a gas mask on their face. They'll be sitting in there like crazy people. They'll just be, you know, all of a sudden get mad. And then I'm trying to go to sleep. Sleep and I just hear somebody, Kiki Palmer, in the wall talking about, oh, you're going to die tonight. And I'm like, oh, they done put some fucking gas in the fucking house. These people are crazy. I'm telling you, this is why I walk around with this purse. I'm telling you, I will not leave anywhere. I go to the bathroom with this purse everywhere. These people have people taking showers in the hotels and stuff. And then they go and handcuff them while they're taking a shower. And then they rape them. So, I definitely have my purse with me. I got radioactive stuff for these damn people. This shit is crazy. They will threaten you with everything. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill your family. I'll kill your parents. And my whole thing is, you don't know who's living. I haven't seen nobody. Nobody talks to me, so I don't know who is really living. So, why the fuck would I give a, give a fuck? I don't care. You people probably already murdered everybody. And then they go get some matching masks and have some mafia person walk around acting like they're your grandparents or something. So when they tell me, oh, I'm a murder so-and-so, I don't give a fuck. Murder everybody. Barack Obama done threaten all kind of shit. He'll put kids' toys and everything in my car like, oh, I'm finna murder your kids and everybody. And then he'll leave a note in there with some sort of like $20 Goodwill fucking gift certificate like bitch i'll kill you and send you to the to the goodwill or something and i'll start up that motherfucking car that 1990 volvo with that person the car like oh it blow up and this purse blow up you blowing up too because if you in these goddamn apartments you definitely finna be in pieces so i don't give a fuck no more i honestly don't people think oh you crazy talking to these mafia people like that it just got to that point I don't ever want to be watching my kid in the living room and Justin Bieber read a blog and be so mad that he come out with a vacuum that has a Uzi connected to it. It's a, a real Uzi gun. And he pointed it at me like, oh, bitch, I'm finna kill you right now. I must have pulled out that fucking purse and was like, oh, Watson will be swinging outside. He was swinging like, oh, everything is cool. And then here come Justin Bieber with some nervous breakdown, pulling out an Uzi on me. I was sitting on the couch like, oh, we all finna be outside. And we were inside the living room. That's all I gotta say. And he took his ass back in the office. I don't play that shit with them no more. I don't give a fuck. All this threatening and shit. I leave my door unlocked. I don't even give a damn. You come up in here, you definitely going out.